Are those... Mushrooms? Are we gonna actually be seeing mushrooms in this game? That is Super Mario 64? A game where there are mushrooms hidden in the walls? I don't know. Let's find out. Right after I give this introduction. What's goody everyone? This is JRuff. Welcome back to Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we went to wet and then dry and then wet again world. And now in this episode, we are going to be headed off into the tallest point in this game. If I can actually make it in the tiny ass fucking... Fucking, uh, painting there. Tall, tall mountain. Now this level, a lot of people kind of find quite annoying. And I don't blame them. But I think of it as, it's not too bad, honestly. It's a lot better than people make it out to be. Um, but we got at the bottom, we got some Goombas, and over here, we got a fucking star just chilling right there. Now, I'm not gonna go for that one yet, because I actually value actually exploring the level first, because... Yeah, this level, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It can be a pain, especially certain stars are pretty much life and death, including these red coins right here, precariously above a bottomless pit. But I think we're gonna just scale the mountain first, and we got more Monty Moles. The red coin uh, mission actually isn't that hard. So, uh, and I and I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing it separate from the 100 coin mission. I could have actually just done it there. And I thought there would be... Oh. oh my god. That's the problem you're gonna run into for this level for the most part. It's gonna be very hard to... Not very hard, but what the fuck? Oh, those balls just fell, like, right above me. But the main problem you're gonna be facing in this level is that you're gonna fall down, and you're gonna have to climb back up, and it can get pretty tedious, you know? Also, note that there's walkways underneath this area over here. Every little point of this level is important for you guys, so I think you're gonna wanna pay attention to pretty much everything. And we got so many different enemies here, including this Chuckya guy that we saw in Wet Dry World make his debut. And also, we got Shy Guy. Alright, can I not fall this time? <laughs> ba -ba -booey! Cut! Alright, so there we go. We made it past the evil shy guy. And uh, right there we got a monkey who will like to steal your hat, so be very careful to avoid him. Okay, this shy guy is gonna give me a fucking heat stroke. Alright, also we got one of these uh, rolling logs like we had in... Um, the lava. Fa! <laughs> Son of a Mongolian master of machinery! I can't climb this fucking mountain. All right, maybe let's try something else. Let's let's try and climb this this different area over here. All right, come on. This is a way you can easily scale, or get, you know, a decently amount high, like you were supposed to. And there we go. We, you don't have to deal with the red coins over there, but we'll get decently higher by going this way. Those motherfuckers. Right here, if you haven't mastered the long jump, you're gonna have a hard time with that. But there we go. Be careful for that cloud, he'll blow you off. Legit, he will blow you the fuck smack off this mountain. And when you're running over these areas, your jump is going to be impeded, so the Goombas actually are an issue. Now this is a thing that we won't actually have a, uh, a use for yet. That'll be coming in another star soon to come. Alright, and be careful right here. We have another area. Ah! At least we only fell down over here. Maybe I can actually get this shit right this time. Stop, Mario! Mario! Also, if you can time your jump right, I believe you can make it over to that star. If, if you use the, if the price is right for you to make it there. Jeez. Oh my God! Another area that is very annoying. Watch out for these balls. Maybe it is right to just. Oh my God! Just to skip that area. Oh my God! I don't want to be killed by balls. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Goombas, give me health. Health, Goom help me, Goomba. Even if you help only a little bit. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies that you can kill in order to get coins here. So, may you know, I, I don't remember this 100 coin mission being that difficult. 
Oh, and as you can see, there's a star in that waterfall right there. We can't really do anything about it. I mean, we could, but I'm doing this mission first. Don't hit the Goombas. We have bigger problems. Thank you. Let me get that. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, alright? We'll do it live. Alright, now what I wanted to do was... Let's switch to the Mario cam. Now let's just fucking crawl. I don't want to fucking get messed up the, the rear. You know what? I think I could be fine just going straight here. Alright, there we go. And now I believe we are at... Oh my god, the camera. We're at the top of the mountain! We did it! Here we go. Jeez, man, that was some fucking pain. <laughs> that was, let me tell you. Alright, now that we've gotten 89 stars, it's... It just spat me out, damn it! I have a feeling this is going to be an annoying level, let me tell you. Right, so now we have the monkey cage. Now this uh, star in particular won't actually appear for you until you actually um, do the first one. Or you have to select this one specifically for it to work out. Now the mystery of the monkey cage, you might be thinking, oh, is it talking about that monkey that we can just fucking hear? And also, it's not um, they're not called monkeys. They have names. They're called Yukiki. Which, they ne I don't know why they don't tell you that in this game, they call them monkeys, but no, they are Yukiki. Yukiki is the name for the monkeys in the Mario universe. Alright, can I just... MARIO! Alright, ignore that monkey right there, because he is not who we need to take out on a date. But rather, there's another monkey up here that we that wasn't there before. What it doesn't tell you is that we have to climb back up, basically, to where we were in the last part. So yeah, kind of unoriginal, two straight uh, missions where we have to scale the mountain, but I mean, we also had to do that in Bob on Battlefield, so it's kind of like a little bit of a callback to that, especially since it uses the same music, which we haven't even heard in a while. So yeah, what you're gonna want to do is go back up to the top, make sure you hit that jump the right way, and watch out for that blowing ass cloud. I mean, it hasn't done anything yet, but you don't want to stick around to find out if it does or if it doesn't. Um, now we're gonna be going back to that area where I fell off several times and it's very funny and humorous for everybody to laugh at me and point, ha, ah, you funny, funny fucker. Um, there's the monkey cage. That wasn't there before, clearly. Um, let's just switch back to the Mario camera. Yeah. Mario, I don't wanna... You're, you're going a little bit fast on that Mario camera for me, alright? Alright, um, once I get the good flow of this... I think we'll be able to cross no problem, nice and easy. Alright. And now, once we have made our way back to the top, we have this monkey here. Now, he'll try to run away from us, like the, uh, the bunny, but he's not nearly as annoying. But he will jump. He's not as fast, thankfully, just try not to fall off the mountain. He'll try to jump over you, but as long as you can read his movements... Okay, what? That, that should have caught him. There we go. Ow! Let me go! Okay, I was only teasing! Can't you take a choke? I'll tell you what, let's trade! If you let me go, I'll give you something really good! How about it? I like how we get the option to hold on to him. So what we gotta do here, is we gotta follow the little fucker. But he'll give us something very rewarding as long as we maintain our distance with him! Don't fall. And see, there's the monkey cage. And he drops the monkey cage. Oh, and we get shown the floor. Alright, well, simple as that. We could just ground pound and land right on top of the star. And that's star number 90! And there we go, that was the mystery of Le Monkey Cage. Ookie Again, it's rejecting me! I'm- it's the land of the mushrooms! I'm the mushroom man! Scary shrooms, red coins. So this is the taunting scary shrooms, red coins that we've been seeing every time we scale the mountain. Not much more to it than that, you just gotta avoid falling right here, and you're basically golden, because the other red coins aren't hard to get at all. 
Well, certainly that's not how you want to do it, is it? Oh my god. This fucking level, it's, it, it's kicking me out heavily because it just doesn't want me to complete it at all. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a moron! I will not be surprised if I get a game over here. Let me in! Alright, now we're gonna guess, you guess you're gonna want a big jump here. There we go. There's number one. Alright, you're gonna want to jump to this one. Alright, and then I think we want to make our way to this one. And I believe this is an extra life in case you fall, which you definitely will. Um... Why don't we jump... Oh, I overshot it! Fuck! Alright, maybe I could have just done it that way. Alright, but now we got a small mushroom. And then finally the last one. Oh my god, I almost fucking fell off right there. And there we go, that's the, sh the coins and the shrooms, but obviously that's not all the coins that we have to find. There are four more, and they're all over here, thankfully. So, uh, that's, that's pretty much the challenge with that one. Most of the rest of this is pretty easy, to be honest. Just as long as you don't fall off here, you should be fine. Um, but obviously you still got the Monty Moles guys tossing fucking rocks at us for some reason. Um, and you don't got anything that could take them down over here. Alright, you want to go over here, and I believe the last coin is up on the top right here. Which you could just climb up and just fall on, too, but... That's not as fun, right? Oh, what? Wait, 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 that is hard to get to, but... Oh, it's right there. Okay. That shouldn't be that difficult. Alright, I don't want to fall from this height, though, to get to it, because I most certainly will fall and bust my ass. So, with a nice long jump, we got our 91st star. Oh <sighs> my god, that one is just all about fucking leaps of faith right there. You gotta honestly be confident in your platforming ability for this one. This is definitely... I, I, I was I was misplacing my level of hardness for this one to its level of uh, funness. Because it's a fun level, but it is hard. Now we got the mysterious mountainside. Um, this, you might not be sure what exactly it is that it is talking about. But what it actually is talking about is that little ledge that we might have seen before. Not this area. This area is not the mysterious mountainside that we need to take care of. But rather, there's something off hidden in the distance that you might not see unless you explore, and obviously if you explore, if you don't explore the right way, you're gonna have a bad time. So, you see that stuff right down there. That is what we need to aim for. Um... But I believe... No, we don't need to get the cannon for this one. Although I will need to get the cannon at some point. Alright, now I don't exactly remember how you're supposed to get to this thing. But if you do that, I think that's exactly how we had to. Alright, now I don't remember where it is, but there's a mysterious part of this that we will be able to see. Right? Or am I doing this wrong? I feel like I'm doing this wrong somehow. Yeah, this is the way to the other star. Get up, you're, get your ass up there. Get Mario! Oh my god. Now I'm not gonna have, be able to get back. <laughs> that wind is supposed to catch me, man. Alright, well, I kinda. Oh, wait, no. I. Fuck. I think I remember where we're supposed to go. This was kind of the one that I was kind of like, maybe I should look at a guide, because I don't remember exactly where it's supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure we'll find it. If anything, I'll just cut around to where we get to it. Um. But that, obviously, that mysterious mountainside right there is for something entirely different. The mysterious, the true mysterious mountainside is yet for us to be discovered. Um, but let's just take a look at everything and all the sides of the mountain that we can see over here. Perhaps it'll show us something extraordinary. Also, I believe if we look right here, we gotta fall in the right place. You can kind of hear them, but this is the where the Bomb Bomb Buddy is that we can talk to. So even if we do do the wrong mountainside over there, we can actually get that set in stone 
And that star is a pain in the fucking ass. Let me tell you guys something. That that star is the devil. Alright, let's see. Can I make it up there? No, I can't. Ay ay ay, Mario. At least we got the fishies. Ugh. I don't even know what I just hit right there. Come on, log. Log, it's log, it's wood, and it's fucking me up. Alright, there we go. Made it onto the side. Now, I believe there's something here that we want to take a look at. That'll kind of guide us to what we need to go to. Just avoiding all these balls of bollocks. Good job avoiding the balls of bollocks, Mario. I also love how you can just do a nice little slide over there. Just very quickly, I want to see... No, this just leads you back to that other area where the red coins are. Alright. Be careful right here, as long as you do the jump the right way. And we have these coins leading you over here. Now, if you pay attention right here, this is the mysterious mountainside that you want to go to. And what it leads you to is... The final slide of the game. This is probably the most dangerous of the slides, but it is a very useful tactic in getting all 100 coins in this level. This slide ha isn't as hard as far as, like, falling off is concerned, but it's more or less hard in that it has dead ends, which will cause you to die. But once you... Oh, no. Oh, like that, like that, like that! No! But I believe once you do die and you jump back into the painting, it'll lead you right to there. So yeah, you gotta make kind of like a hard turn. Alright, thankfully that that is it is more than fair with your lives there. Um, but yeah, in my humble opinion, I believe it is your directive if you want to complete the 100 coin challenge in this level that you take care of this first because look at how many blue coins and coins you can just collect by going through here. You absolutely need to do this in order to complete the challenge. And look at all the, the fun, happy faces in the background. Alright, but you don't want to go too fast. You want to take it at least a decently slow so you can be careful and mind all the dead ends and stuff. Oh! Like those that tries to trick you by following the coins. But I think this one is really fun. It's certainly a lot better than the, uh, the snowy one. And there we go. That's the end of the slide. And there's a lot more dead ends. There's a lot less dead ends than I thought. And right, right here, just quickly, you want to look. This leads us right to where... There's, well, you can kind of see over there in that wall. This is where the entrance area is. So if you do take care of that, you can make a tricky jump and you can land right back over there. So you can basically start your coin hunt with, you know, at least 50 of them. And with that, here we go. Here we go. Number 92. You see, you can just fall right down there. And that was the mysterious mountainside of the tall, mysterious mountain. Ooh! I swear to god. I don't know why they made this painting so small. I guess it's because the fucking, um... The, uh... What do you call it? That the level just so happened to be, like, so fucking massive that, uh... You know, they may- oh, maybe make it small. It'll be cool. Alright, well, this is the breathtaking view from the bridge. I don't... No, I don't think that this is the, the star over there by that mushroom over there, so we're going to avoid it for now. You, you already kind of know the way to get there, but I believe this is the this is the waterfall star that we've been avoiding for some time now. So why don't we make haste over there? Um, it's another one that involves climbing up to the high points in this place. And I love to use alliteration unintentionally. No! Ay ay ay. Ow! What do I keep hitting? Fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck come on 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 come <laughs> Kamikaze Bobami. Alright. Let's just take the boring way. Is, even though it is the boring way, it's the easier way to get up there. And I'm a big baby. I can't see! Alright, you might have noticed the star over there. And uh, essentially what we have to do is... Wait for it, wait for it. 
you see this button right here, what this button does, it materializes a block right there. And you might think, why the fuck is that block right there? Well, it's not the only one that's there. You see there's one right there. And you gotta make a strong jump, and boom! We made it right into where that star is. I'm surprised I actually got that one in one try, because that one usually gives me a fucking annoyance. But there we go, we have gotten every single star except for the 100 coin challenge. And of course, the shroom. Blast to the lonely mushroom. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna be doing here is first and foremost, I'm gonna try to avoid every single enemy, and I'm gonna just try to go straight to that mysterious mountainside. Um, so I think I'm just gonna cut to you guys seeing me over there. Sorry for the so many amounts of cuts in this episode, but I didn't expect this level to give me that much trouble, and unfortunately, it, it sort of did. Um, you know, maybe I should have gotten those red coins first, because I'm probably going to be getting some right now. Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll worry about that when we get to it, but, uh... Ow! If I get any of these coins, I will not cut... God, I'm, I'm just... I'm a mess in this level, guys! I'm an absolute mess. See, there we got two coins, part of it. GET UP THERE! Jesus Christ, though. You know what, maybe I'll get these coins just so I can not have to worry about them later on. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's just climb. I don't understand the reason for this thing being there. I wonder if these guys can hit me from up there. I sincerely hope not, because that would be kind of annoying. Okay, they can't. Good. Fuckers. You scum diddly ums. Alright. And I don't, like I said, you don't want to get that many coins. Um, I didn't actually say this, but you don't want to get that many coins before going into the, the slide, because getting the star, like, like you, you've seen, the 100 coin star just simply materializes over your head. So, obviously, if you're going down a slide, that's gonna cause a bunch of problems. But once we jump in here... We gotta do our best to not only survive, but to collect massive amounts of coins. Now, if you die, it's not really that big of a deal, because like I said, it starts you, or like we've seen, it starts you right back in this place. Um, let me get that coin, that's very useful. It starts you right back here, so you could basically start your 100 coin mission from scratch once you get here. But always forget to do that turn, and pretty much after this, as long as you maintain your position on this slide without falling off, you're pretty much golden. We've gotten most coins that we possibly could get. I mean, we obviously could get more, but we've gotten at least most of them, and I almost fell. Oh, shit. And yeah, unfortunately for us, this is the last slide in the entire game. Um, which I, you know, I mean, if you put too many of them, there would have been, uh, you know, too many of them, obviously, but they had, I think they got it just right. Once we go down here, now we can actually start our 100 coin mission proper. We only need to get, uh, what, 45 coins? No, 35 coins, right? Yeah, I can count. I are totally smart at counting. And this one just becomes pretty much a simple 100 coin gathering mission. As long as you don't die, um, keyword, uh, I don't know what the keyword is there, actually. Um, I'm... Mm, I'm gonna save those for later. If I have to get them, I'll try and get them. But if I don't, I will try not to. Because I don't think I actually need to get them. Um, we're gonna go over here and get these bob -omb buddies. You definitely don't want to get blasted off the fucking mountain here. Especially after getting <laughs> 69 coins. <laughs> this is the bob -omb. No! Damn it. That's what I get for referencing a YouTube poop that I created. Uh, what? I, I didn't say anything. Alright, Mr. Chuck, yeah. Now it's time for you to join your wet, dry brother in. Cause fuck ya. Yeah. That was funny. Funny noises are funny. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more coins over here. No! Why do you defy me, jumping skills? I actually think I need to get these, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, the bob -omb fell again. Uh, okay, that wasn't actually that hard. 
I was being a little stupid ass. <laughs> stupid stinko. Um, I'm still gonna go this way just in case, because I, I think it's safer this way, even though it's funny because I've been fucking falling off this thing like crazy. Uh, I've got gamer fever right now. My hands are sweating like a motherfucker. All right. And yes, the star over there is the star that we need, that we're going to be attempting to get after we get this one. I just wanted to be able to take care of all the rest of the stars in this level, just because I know a lot of them can be a, a decent amount of a pain. Ugh. What also sucks about doing the, the uh, slide perfectly in one go is that um, basically after you do it, you know, you're kind of like... Uh, you won't, it won't put you right back there if you die at this point. Alright, but we still got some more coins to go, right? I think I got all of them at the strange mountainside that we just passed. Oh, I did miss one red coin, but it should be fine. I mean, I would hope at least this level doesn't have, like, almost exactly the amount of coins. But it's kind of looking... Oh, no, 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 we still have, we, we have more than enough coins left. Right? Alright. Yep, and I believe we have coins right here. Just enough to give us 101. Like, uh, I was gonna say, like, the original number of Pokemon, but that is not... It was 151. Alright. Nope. Camera. Camera. Don't screw me right now, camera. Here we get those last few coins, and there we go. A decently challenging 100-coin mission, but if you abuse the slide, you'll be able to take care of business. And now, for the most annoying part of this entire stage. Let's just jump right down here for, like, this one time we actually do want to be sent down to this location. Alright, I wonder if I can actually just... Ah, oh, close! I was close to it. Damn. I thought you could actually do that. That, that would have been, if I knew where I was going, if I had the camera in the right way. Also, I missed those coins down there I could have actually used. So yeah, we even have more than enough coins. So basically, we already did show to how to get over here, but basically, basically, here's how you do it again. Ah. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is to be extremely safe. You're going to want to jump over here. Yep, that was extremely safe! At least we got the 100 coin star. Fuck me. I'll just cut to when we get to that area. Cutting, cutting, cutting! Uh, what? Um, what? Why did it send me... Okay, let's, let's do the slide again. Fuck it. Fuck! Fuck! Ugh, oh, I can't even get to the most simple fucking star! Ah! Thankfully, if we escape, if we exit the course, it'll bring us right back to this area of expertise. Goodness. Oh my god! What is happening? Can we just do this the way that I did it before? Okay, there we go. Let's see, you could have just. I should have just done that from the start. But this isn't even the fucking hard part! This is probably the worst designed star in the entire game, in my opinion, honestly. Because... Not only do we have to make our way over here in those death-defying death traps... But this is how you're supposed to get the star. Not, not... Not like this is... A, a mean, a certain means of getting it. No, this is the fucking way they designed you to get to the star. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be aiming for. I think that should be good. Nope, too low! And see, that's the problem with it. You're honestly gonna, like, keep, keep shooting yourself just trying to get over to there, and it's not like it starts you right back where you have to go. You have to just constantly shoot yourself over to that area, and hey, you might not even make it over there. You know, you might die beforehand. You know, you, there's several locations where you can fall at dangerous heights and die, like right over here. So, like, you 
have no true path to just keep trying and keep trying. And it's kind of just a really lazy star, in my opinion. I mean, it could have been worse. See, like, right there! Like, I could have, like... There's no easy way of making it there. And I might not even make it the next time. So obviously we need to shoot higher. Than where I was aiming right there. Um, that should be good, right? Sure. Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Oh, thank God. It only took me two attempts. I mean, minus the million attempts trying to fucking climb the whole fucking thing. But there we go. We have successfully taken care of everything that has to do with Tall Tall Mountain. And with that, we have taken care of all but one level in this area. And where is that other level, you might ask? Well, yeah. it's right here. So why don't we just yeah. jump on in, right? Yeah. Wait, what? But this was the painting we saw before. Could it be that... Wait a minute. Two paintings? Well, I guess we'll see what's going on with this level in the next episode, alright guys? So thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more Super Mario 64. We're nearing the end of the entire game, alright? Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace. Alright, I believe we can get up up here. Oh! Stupid wall of fire. I believe we can get up here with a jump. Well, not if you don't actually do the jump the right way, Mario. There we go. Alright, I don't know if we can get up here. This one, however. I think we might need our guy to chuck us. Yeah, we do. Okay. So here's another way of getting up to the top. You gotta let this guy come get you at a different angle and toss you. Uh, but unfortunately it doesn't always work. And also you take damage when you land, so be very careful. You gotta get him close enough to this area, so that when he does chuck you, he'll actually go over. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, okay, we're not in a good position at the moment. Um, let's just get some coins right here, just to be careful.